everyone today I'm gonna be straightening my hair make sure to like comment and share this video and let's get on with it hello everyone today I'm starting off by showing you the products I will be using today and the only product I really regret using was the Olaplex number no. 6 it was just a little bit too greasy for my hair and this is my hair the day after I washed it and everything so I just put my hair in braids to make it easy to blow dry. I'm using my Dyson blow dryer on high wind, medium heat and I first go in with the comb attachment, my paddle brush, my Denman brush and then I go in with a boar bristle brush. Shockingly, I got the boar bristle brush from the Dollar Tree and it's really freaking good. It doesn't melt and so on forth. Now, when it comes to blow drying your hair before straightening it, you want to get your hair as straight as possible to limit the amount of heat you'll use when you're using your flat iron. This will give you way better results. Next, I'm going to move on to some heat protectant and serum. I always love my chi, can't straighten my hair without my chi. Chi is such an amazing heat protectant. Then I'm going to go in with my brush clamp. It has bristles on both sides. It's $4 at Sally's and I'm going to use my Babyless flat iron on $4.10. Now I notice when I use my ceramic flat iron on $3.50, I get heat damage. But when I use my titanium iron on $4.10, I don't get heat damage. I think it's because the titanium distributes the heat evenly between both plates. Whereas the ceramic can have spikes of heat that shoot off on my hair giving me heat damage and when I see heat damage I pretty much cut it off immediately um, I do not let it sit there <laughs> um, but I definitely learned how to use this flat iron because the first time I used it I was like what is this this is making my hair frizzy and I think over time my hair has gotten used to it and I've pretty much like been straightening my hair once a month for like months now so I think I I think I got a handle on this now. And this is the first time I was able to get a silk press. Um, the only issue I had was from the bonding treatment. It gave like my strands an oily like residue on the back, which I didn't really like. But the rest was like silky smooth, which I absolutely loved. This straightening session took me around three hours, which I don't really mind. But like it definitely gets like tiring over time, especially since I have a lot of hair. Like oh my gosh. Now currently in this video my hair is 34 inches and before this it was 2 inches longer before I cut it off. So I was at 36 inches and now I'm at 34. And currently today I'm at 33 because I just got another trim and I'm planning on growing out my hair to 36 inches soon. So keep updated with my videos to see where I get in this year with hair growth. I'm really hoping I reach 30 by the end of the year. We'll see. I really don't know. But my results came out so nice. I am so excited for like my future videos. I have so many videos for you guys. I just need to actually get up and edit them. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. All right. <coughs> All right, everyone, so I did just get a trim like a couple of days ago, so so my ends are like cut. Um, I was at 35, 36 inches before my trim, now I'm at 34. So yeah, this is my silk press routine. I remember my first review I left on the Babyless flat iron. I didn't like it, but that's because I didn't know how to use it. And now that I know how to use it, I'm so very, very happy with that. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below how often you straighten or silk press your hair. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.